I am with uh, an international um, NGO called the Diplo Foundation. They have offices in Malta and Geneva. And I'm here in the capacity of a research supervisor. This time um, we had, um, this year we had two phases. We had a capacity building program divided into two phases. Uh, an introductory phase and a research phase and I supervised two groups um, one from the Caribbean and Pacific region and then um, the groups were split for the research phase and I had people from other groups um, under the common theme of e-commerce issues. Well, of course, everybody knows the, the internet is, has this vast amount of potential. Over the past few years, e-commerce has skyrocketed in terms of the amount of people who go use the internet to shop online and um, do other transactions as well, in terms of banking, um, um, doing their um, other financial transactions and so on. So we thought because, especially because of security issues, you know, there are, um, there are things that needed to be addressed, looked at, investigated, where it, especially where it concerns um, countries that you, you're looking to develop um, your business capacity in terms of um, the, um, what businesses can achieve. And the internet, of course, would be an ideal tool to use, um, but of course we needed to look at the issues, what are the pros, the cons, what, what might be done to facilitate the process, um, whether it, you know, it's, it makes sense for you for, as a small um, institution, corporation, whatever, from, with not much in terms of financial resources, whether it makes sense for you to be involved at all. So. Those are the kinds of things we looked at. The thing is, is that the pros outweigh the cons, basically, because you have the opportunity to not just, you're not looking only at your small population. If your product is a very good product, you would, you have the opportunity to basically showcase your products all over the world wherever people have access to the internet. Um, that's just one, one issue, but there are so many others. And we are, we are planning to publish our findings as well eventually on our website. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, we, we didn't go too much into the specifics in terms of e-commerce being governed. We, um, we more so focused on what the issues are for developing countries. Um, we didn't look especially at governing. Um, for the first phase of our internet governance capacity building program, those were the issues that were discussed overall in terms of um, what's involved in, in terms of governance and um, the different factors involved, not just about e-commerce, which is more of the economic aspects. We looked at cultural issues and um, developmental, other developmental issues, socioeconomic, you know, a mixture. Um, but in terms of overall governance, we, I, I don't want to use what the groups are saying. I would say for me personally, it's, you can't have any one person or grouping from a particular country or grouping. It, it needs to be more of a consensus and a, a multi-stakeholder process, which is what this meeting is all about as well. Yes, yes, I think that would be a good place to start. Of course, it's a work in progress. So you, you can't, you, because it's something that's so new, you can't say this one, any one thing will work. You, you never know. But at least that's a good starting point. Uh, the biggest issue. Can I speak from a developing country perspective? Because that's where I'm from. Um, I think the biggest issue um, 
it's about building capacity, building capacity so that people are aware of what is involved, what their role is as well, um, where the internet is concerned, e-commerce, all these issues, um, making more people aware of the vast potential, what's, how it would benefit them. Because unless you make them aware of how it, it benefits them, then no one's going, you're not going to get people on board. Um, I think civil society is a great place to start. Definitely, civil society, because you have to look at grassroots people. People who are in rural communities and so on, people working with them, these NGOs and so on, other people involved in this capacity, they're perfect. And once they, they already have their linkages, so it, you, have, you don't have to do much work from there. Once you get buy-in from them, then your work is a lot easier. My biggest hope, to be honest with you, is that a lot more people, and I mean ordinary citizens globally, will be able to realize the potential of the internet and what can be achieved um, because it does have the potential for so many things, education, um, possibly f forms of health care, so, you know, just um, dissemination of information. I think that's important. My biggest fear is that developing countries will always have to be playing catch up and that they will never <laughs> get to the point where they're not exactly on par with developed countries, but, you know, still too far behind to really uh, benefit fully from um, the internet. Um. Think, think about, suppose it, the, the roles were switched. What would you like to see happen? Think of it that way. Put yourself in the other person's shoes and think of it that way. <sighs> Enormous, tremendous. Great, and where did you say you were from? I'm Jamaican. Jamaica. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much. You great Thank job. you.